Hey folks, I'm just going to introduce you to the Presscart uh, plugin that I've created. Uh, its aim is to bring in your WordPress posts into OpenCart, so to display your WordPress posts in your store uh, so you can keep your customers up to date with your news very easily. So we're starting with, this is just a basic OpenCart install, so this is a default template. And I've uploaded the press cart files to the uh, file structure of this open cart store, just as in the instructions. So if I go into the module section of the store, so we're in modules, then at that point you'll see that press cart appears at the bottom of the uh, list. So if I click install, that installs press cart module. Click edit, and I'll show you how it works. So uh, basically, Presscart asks for your WordPress login details, or the database details, because that's where it draws your posts from. So this is about the only technical part that you have to do. Uh, so to do that, what you do is you go to your WordPress install, you go to your WordPress files. If I go to my file manager here, so here's my WordPress files. You can see they all start with WP- dash, and all you need to do is find WP config. So I'll go to that and I'll just use my code editor and edit and you don't have to use the same tool you can use any any tool that lets you view your files and what you're looking for are these ones at the top db name db user db password so let's go back over first one is database name so we can bring that over then we've got database user which is exactly the same database username then we've got table prefix now that's a little bit further down so if I scroll down a little bit you've got table prefix down here usually by default is WP underscore then we've got database host and that will be localhost if you're on a normal install but if it's a WordPress install that's running on a separate server, then it might be different. But you can check that here. It'll say define DB host and it'll be local host if it's on the same server. But as I said, if it's on a different server, you may need to uh, use the IP address of that server or a URL that you'll find from your web host. Next, I need my DB password. So just copy that and paste that in there. And then when I click save, it'll zoom off, it'll connect to the WordPress database and you'll see successfully connected to the database. Now you can add layouts. Okay, so now we add the, the press cart block, uh, blocks. So if I click add module, these are the options you get. It's the standard adding module options for any open cart uh, module. So you've got layout, so let's add a home page one. So layout, uh, home page position let's put it at the very top status enabled sort order we'll make sure it's at the very top we put in zero WordPress source now press cart allows you to choose a few different ways um, to find your articles so you can either choose recent articles which just shows the most recent ones or you can choose by category so you can choose from categories in your WordPress install or you can choose by tags as well so it's really flexible in allowing you to choose which posts you show in uh, press cart. Now this shows the thumbnail size, so that's the size of the picture that's brought over. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 100 pixels by 100 just now. Then you've got the title, so that's the amount of characters that show in the title, and then you've got the number of characters that show in the post excerpt, and you'll see what this means in a minute. Block titles, you can actually give it a title, and you can show the amount of articles. So I'm going to leave that blank just now, and I'm going to show three articles. And then I'm going to save. And now, if I grow to my store, you'll see that this is the press cart block here. So it's currently showing three articles, one, two, three. It's showing the image, it's showing the title, it's showing an excerpt from the post, and it's showing a link that will take me over to that post. So if I click that link, read article, it takes me to the blog that's associated with it. And that's the post in WordPress. Okay, so I can change a few options though. Let's go back in. 
Let's make the thumbnail a bit smaller. We've decided that's too big, so 50 by 50. Let's make the title, leave the title there, but make the title the excerpt a little bit longer. So let's make that 150 and we'll give it a title. Click save. And I'll refresh this. And you'll see that the thumbnails got smaller and the excerpt has got larger. Again, another thing to change is the amount of articles. So you might want to try and fit four in there, especially if you've got a wide store. So I'll click four there, click save, back to the store, refresh, and now you've got four articles in there. And you'll see things like this title is a little bit long, so it's pushing it down to the next line, so that doesn't look very neat. But what you can do is you can use your uh, character option in the title to cut that down. So let's say that's 50, click save, go back over. It's too long still, so let's put it down to 25, click save, over here refresh, and you'll see that that's cut it down to a certain size. So it cuts it off basically to add uh, the 25 characters just to make sure it's nice and neat in case you use very long titles. Now the other way to show press cart is in uh, sidebar mode. So let's go to that. We'll create product for example. We'll choose column left. You could choose column right as well but we've got column left there. Enable to make it appear at the very top zero. We'll choose a category this time just for uh, interest. So let's choose news. So only three of them. We'll make this smaller because in the columns in the side uh, you want slightly smaller pictures. And we'll make the title shorter too. Let's make that 30. And we'll call it recent articles. And let's show three articles and save that. And I'll go back to my store. And now if I click on a product, you'll see the press cart block appears in the left hand column. So that's it appearing down the left hand side. Okay, so that shows you how the press cart module works. Now if you were to use this in a different uh, a different theme, that's no problem at all. These are all uh, classified via class and ID really well so that you can edit it to meet your theme. So you can make these titles larger, you could make the change the border around the pictures, you can edit it all using CSS really well. Uh, so it's really flexible along those lines. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you with the module. If you have any questions though, just drop them in the comments for the product and I'll answer as quick as I can. I hope that was useful to you and thanks for watching.